the Mousy Makes podcast. I'm Helen and this is my little place in YouTube where I share with you lots of things that I like making and doing. So you're very, very welcome. It's lovely to have you here with me. Uh, today I'm just going to, mostly I'm just going to update you with the things I've been making. And what I decided to do this time, rather than keep holding things up and waiting for the uh, camera to focus, and <laughs> I'm not very good at uh, doing that. You do have to be a bit patient and wait for it to refocus. Anyway, I thought of an alternative, which is that I've taken some separate tiny little video clips of the different things that I'm uh, busy working on. And then while I'm talking, hopefully you'll see uh, some nice in focus. Um, clips of those things that I've been making. So I'm going to start off with a finished project. Um, the only one I've finished so far this year, but then I have got quite a few on the go. The reason I've got the, quite a few on the go more than usual is I decided to uh, join in with the make along called the 12 cast ons of Christmas um, from the uh, podcast called Yarn and Yarns with the lovely Angela there. And she, she's cast on 12 things or, you know, started things. I suppose you don't really cast on when you crochet exactly. But anyway, it's starting 12 new projects. So Angela has cast on 12 projects. I haven't. Um, I started off with four and I've recently uh, cast on a couple of new ones. Um, so, uh, and one of them is finished now. So I've got five on the go. <laughs> and... Uh, the first one that's finished, I've got them down in front of me, so if I, if I keep looking down, that's just to remind me what I'm going to talk about. So the first finished one uh, is a pair of socks, so I'm not going to try and hold those close, but you can hopefully see some pictures now. Um, made from my favourite sock yarn, and details of all these things that I've made, um, I will put in as links below, um, you know, below this video. So the socks, I am very pleased with them. Lovely, bright, colourful socks. And they are a belated birthday gift for my daughter. So because I had so many things on the go, I think I just, I didn't focus on these and get them finished in time for her birthday. Anyway, they will soon be in the post to her, so she'll have them very soon. Uh, so an, another thing that I've been working on, which isn't finished yet, half finished. I've got a half finished project, which is... Um, the, these fingerless mitts, which uh, hopefully you can see some pictures now um, of them. I'm not, I mean, I like the colours, I like the yarn, I think. They fit. I'll put one on now. I mean, I think they're probably just for me, I'm not sure, I might give them away. Um, but I'm not in love with them, you know, how you're just not in love with some things. So I don't know. Um, it may be that I'm going to I'm going to make them anyway. But I'm going to keep making them because I've cast on the other one and I'll get it finished. Um, what else? Oh, yes, I've been working on my leftover sock yarn blanket, the mitered square join as you go. Mitered, mitered square. Oh, yeah. Left. Oh, dear me. I'll get the right muddle when I say that. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's pictures that you can see. Um, and... I am quite enjoying, I enjoy how it looks, but the only thing I don't enjoy about it is picking up stitches. There's a lot of picking up stitches involved, which I know means I don't have to sew them together afterwards. That's the whole point. But I suppose I'm looking upon it as getting better, getting lots of practice and getting better at picking up stitches. So I am persisting. I'm not going to give up on it anyway. And, and actually, do you know what? Mousy liked it so much that he decided to start his own mitered square leftover sock yarn blanket. And so hopefully you can see some closer up pictures of him now making his little blanket. So I don't know how he's, a, he's even slower knitter than me, so I'm not sure how fast that's gonna go. It might, might just be a, so, a, a lap blanket, mightn't it? Yeah, okay, so, so there we go, that's that. And what? else oh yes and i'm carrying on with the um shawl the crocheted shawl the drusilla pattern um and that's that's growing slowly uh, as the rows get longer and longer because it's a triangle it, the, you can't see the progress so quickly because yeah um but it's 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 going okay so i'm, I'm glad to have that that's a really really nice relaxing thing to make 
I love making that. It's my only crochet project on the go as well at the moment. So those are things, those were the first things that I cast on and obviously I've had, got the one finished project. Um, um, but since I last chatted to you about projects, I've cast on two more things. Uh, the first thing I've cast on is a hat uh, from a book that I was given uh, as a Christmas present a couple of years ago and I hadn't made anything from it. Knitting from the North, hopefully I will see a picture of that now. Uh, yeah, it took me a bit, a bit of a while to choose the colours. Uh, but I, I think that's going to look good with these colours, the kind of the mid green and the dark green and then the, the ivory colour. So we'll see how, how that progresses. And then the final thing, new thing that I've cast on is the most adorable little bear that I have ever seen. I am so in love with him. He's been designed by a, a French designer called Cynthia Vallée. And all of her uh, toy designs, she decided she wanted to do them all uh, in one piece. So there's no sewing together whatsoever, which obviously means you're knitting it on four needles and in, in the round the whole time. And I have to say, although this is the cutest little bear I have ever made, it's also the fiddliest, fiddliest toy I've ever made. Yeah, even the tiny little ears here, I have to pick up the stitches and... Um, and so, but again, it means that we don't have to uh, sew anything together at the end. It's just a bit of grafting. I had to graft the ends of the uh, arms together uh, with Kitchener Stitch and I will have to, I haven't done any of the grafting yet, but obviously the, um, the final, the bottom of his body, once it's got the legs on, will have to be grafted as well. So, um, but I can't wait for him to finish. I'm already in love with him. I absolutely love him. I might change his name. The pattern it calls him Tsutsu Bear, which is quite cute, but I, I think he might have a different name. One of the things I love about this pattern is that it comes with three pattern, three sweater patterns for him. I just can't wait to get to make him a sweater. And a little hat as well, with little holes where the ears will poke through. It is so cute. I can highly recommend it. I bought the pattern on Ravelry and again there will be a link below but um, but it is a brilliant pattern. She talks you through absolutely everything that you need to know. All, every technique is explained so well but at the same time the way she writes the pattern um, she, she just she knows that you're gonna love this little bear. She's like talking about the bear as a real character as you go along so it's oh really great. So I'm very excited about that project. Uh, so uh, just so you can have a little break from my chatting now, um, I'm going to take you on a snowy walk. As I'm talking to you right, talking to you right now, uh, it, it's we haven't got any snow, but this was from a couple of weeks ago, where we had some uh, a good good snowfall, uh, sort of a bit deeper than the first snowfall that I think you saw a couple of episodes ago. Um, and I just love being out in the snow. So I had a really lovely snowy walk and took lots of little video clips to show you. And I'm going to, I think, read a couple of little poems as well along the way. Um, so I hope you enjoy those too. A bit of background music and so just sit back and relax and I'll go for a nice snowy walk. Winter Morning Poem by Ogden Nash Winter is the king of showermen, turning tree stumps into snowmen, and houses into birthday cakes, and spreading sugar over lakes. Smooth and clean and frosty white, the world looks good enough to bite. That's the season to be young, catching snowflakes on your tongue. Snow is snowy when it's snowing. I'm sorry it's slushy when it's going. From Velvet Shoes by Eleanor Wiley Let us walk in the white snow In a soundless space With footsteps quiet and slow At a tranquil pace Under veils of white lace We shall walk in velvet shoes Wherever we go Silence will fall like dews On white silence below 
we shall walk in the snow. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, going out in the snow without getting cold. <laughs> so, well, next I'm going to open a parcel for you. Uh, it came a few days ago and um, I've been resisting the temptation to open it until until now, till I was ready to have a chat with you. Uh, I don't know what it is, but when I'm watching podcasts, I love it if somebody is what, opening a parcel. It's, it's almost like it's my parcel and my surprise. And I don't mind at all that I don't get the thing that's inside their parcel. Um, but so I thought you might like to watch me open my parcel. It's a brown paper package tied up with string. Oh, that's a great film, isn't it? Do you like that film? The Sound of Music? I love it. It's one of my favourite films, especially that song. Um, anyway, anyway, digressing. Uh, so I'm going to open the parcel now. Here we go. So here's my parcel. And it comes from a shop in London called Wild and Woolly, which I haven't bought anything from before. And I decided to treat myself to this. So let's just see. Oh, oh goodness. Kind of a paper bag, isn't it? It's a strong paper bag. Right, here we go. Ah, there we go. So, if your French is any good, you'll know what that is a knitting kit for. Sadie Souris. And I just couldn't resist this. So, this is um, a pattern by the same designer as the little bear that I'm making. So there she is, Sadie the mouse. And so let's have a look what we've got. Oh gosh, there we go. So I'm guessing that in there are the eyes. Um, yeah, that's probably it actually. The eyes will be in there. I'm not going to open that yet because I don't want to lose them. And this is the colour for the mouse, the main colour. And then we've got these little mini skeins. 
uh, which are for the clothes that, that I'm going to make for her as well. So that's for the other thing. Oh, yeah, she's not wearing clothes in this in this picture, is she? She has a beautiful little dress and oh, various other clothes. Uh, oh, yes, we've got some pink. I'm guessing that pink must be for her uh, feet and her hands and nose, maybe, unless that's embroidered. I'm not sure. Anyway, I can't wait to make her. Uh, it'll be a little friend for uh, Mousy. Mousy, do you want to come and have a look? Look, hey, look. Ooh, that's very exciting. I think she's going to be a bit bigger than you, though, Mousy. She'll be like a big sister. So there we go. So in future podcasts, hopefully I can show you the progress that I'll make on that. But I'm going to wait till I finish the little bear first. So it'll be a, a little while before I start her. But I want to start her as soon as possible. So there we go. I'm really excited to make that project. Well, it is time for me to go again now. So thank you so much for spending a bit of your time with me. I hope you've enjoyed yourself today and that you'd like to come back another time. Who knows what I'll be talking about. <laughs> um, but until then, you keep busy and stay safe and I will see you again soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>